نحمده و نسلی علی رسوله الكریم اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری و احل العقدات من لسانی یفقہ قولی و جعل لی وزیر من احلی اللہم فکہنا فی الدین آمین سم آمین السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ ٹرانسلیشن سورة البقرة ورس 142 سَيَقُولُ يَقُولُ The root word is قَالَ قَالَ means to say, to talk and يَا at the start makes it an imperfect verb and it is for the third person masculine singular he will say now the scene at the start is a prefixed future particle and when before an imperfect verb we have seen the versa it signifies that this verb shows an action which will be done in future and in fact in near future so sayakulu means nearly or shortly will he say as-sufaha-u. Sufaha means the foolish, the silly, stupid, the idiotic people are those who do not have any knowledge. And because of lack of knowledge or ignorance, they act, they behave foolishly. As Sufaha U, the foolish, the stupid, are the idiotic ones. Min proposition from Anasi, the people. Ma what? It is an interrogative noun. Wallahum. Wow lam ya walla means to turn, to change the direction or to rotate. Walla, this is a perfect verb for the third person masculine singular. Hum, them. Them is a pronoun which is pointing towards those who are turning their direction. And it basically refers to the Ummah of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. An Again, a preposition meaning from. Qiblati. Qiblati hum. Qibla, uh, the root word is qaf ba lam. Qabala means something which is in front. Now, Qibla in Sharia refers to the direction which the person while uh, offering salah keeps in the front. So, Qibla means the direction of prayer. Hum, this is a possessive noun for the third person masculine, plural, kiblati hum, their direction of prayer or their kibla. Allati, a relative pronoun for the feminine singular, which. Now this pronoun, allati, is, since it is feminine singular, it is pointing towards kibla. Because Qibla has the round ta at the end, and any noun which has round ta at the end, it is in Arabic taken as feminine. Allati, which? Kanu. Kana is for to be, so it is a perfect verb meaning they used to be alaiha. Ala, a preposition meaning upon or on ha it this is again a pronoun for the third person feminine singular and it is pointing towards kibla so we see allati was also feminine and alaiha the pronoun here again is feminine Qul, an imperative verb ordering the second person masculine singular to say Qul means you say Lillahi, Lamzer Li is a prefixed preposition meaning for Lillahi, for Allah. 
al mashriku shin rokaf al mashrik all the east wal maghrib ghain ra ba gharaba means to set or to disappear and maghrib is the place where the sun sets that is the west wa and al maghribu the west or all the west ya di ha dal ya means guidance yahdi the ya at the start shows that it is an imperfect verb for the third person masculine singular yahdi he guides and who is this he pointing to is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because hadi is allah yahdi he guides man a relative pronoun whom yasha u sha'a means wills desires wants the ya at the start shows that it is an imperfect verb for the third person masculine singular yasha'u he wills he desires he wants ila towards sirat mustaqim sirat means a path a route a passage a road mustaqim straight this is an adjective the noun is the uh, is sirat and the property of sirat is that it is mustaqim siratum mustaqim now repeating verse 142 uh, again sayaqulu shortly or in near future will say asufahau the foolish the stupid ones min nasi from the people ma what wallahum turned them an from qiblati hum their direction of prayer or their qibla allati which kanu they were or they used to be alayha upon it qul you say lillahi for allah al mashriq the east wal maghrib and the west yahdi he guides may yasha whom he wills he wants he desires ila towards sirat mustaqim the straight path verse 143 wa and kadhalika kaf super ka means like similar to dhalika this so kadhalika and similar to or like this ja'alna kum ja'alna is a perfect verb and the na at the end shows that it is for the first person plural ja'ala means to make ja'alna is on the die cast of fa'alna ja'alna we made kum you this is a pronoun for the second person masculine plural we made you ummatan a community a group and this is a noun ummatan is a noun and what is the ummatan the community or the group of people like wasatan this is an indefinite adjective for the indefinite noun so ummatan is wasatan wow seen to means something which is in the middle something which is in the center and we can definitely realize that generally the things which are in the middle or in the center and not at the extremes are generally the best so the literal word to word translation of ummatan wasatan is a community of the middle of the middle manner of the middle style but 
Vasatan, since it means the best also, we would translate it also as Ummatan Vasatan, also as the best community. The community which is not at the extreme. Li taqunu. Lamze li is a prefixed particle meaning so that for takunu is again from kana to be. This is an imperfect verb for the second person masculine plural. Li takunu so that you will be shohada. Ah, shin hada is a person who is present who is a witness and shohada is the plural of shaheed. This is a masculine plural noun, shohada witnesses, ala, upon or over anasi, the mankind, the people, wayakuna. Now again, this is from kana, meaning to be. And this is an imperfect verb for the third person masculine, singular. Wa and yakuna. And he will be, who will be? A rasulu, the messenger. Ra sin la means to send. Rasul is the messenger of Allah who was sent with the messages of Allah. A rasulu, the messenger. And since we have alif lam at the start, it means that it is a, it is a, it's not a common noun. It is a proper noun. Alaykum, upon kum you, shahida. Again, as I've already men mentioned in shahada, shahid is singular and shahada is plural. So it is a masculine singular indefinite noun, shahidan, a witness, any witness. Wa and ma not. Ja'alna. As I've already mentioned previously, it is a perfect verb for the first person plural on the die cast of fa'alna. We made. Wa ma ja'alna and not did we make al qiblata the direction of prayer qibla is the direction of prayer and alif lam at the start makes it a proper noun the direction of prayer allati this is a relative pronoun for the feminine singular and it is again pointing towards qibla because qibla is what it is a feminine noun Alati which umta. Now this is a perfect word, and ta zabarta shows that it is for the second person masculine, masculine singular. If it was kuntum, it would have been masculine uh, plural. Now it is kunta, making it singular. Kunta, you were used to, or you used to be. Alayha, ala, upon or on, ha, it. Now this is again a, a pronoun for the third person feminine singular and ha here is the pronoun pointing towards Qibla. Illa, other than or except li na'lama, lamzir li is a prefixed particle meaning so that. Na lama. Ain la mim means to have knowledge, to know. Noon at the start shows that it is an imperfect verb for the first person plural. Na lama, we have knowledge. We know. Li na lama, so that we know or we get knowledge. Man, who, this is a relative pronoun. Man yattabi'u, yattabi'u, the root word is taba'in, to follow or to copy. Ya at the start shows that it is an imperfect verb for the third person masculine singular. Yattabi'u, he follows, he copies or he 
imitates a rasula the messenger mimman two words joined together min and ma mimman from who yanqalibu qaf lam ba qalaba means to turn around to rotate to go back and forth now qalb is also a word which is used for the heart because we know the heart doesn't stay in one position it turns back and forth sometimes happy sometimes sad sometimes anxious sometimes overjoyed sometimes obedient and sometimes um, disobedient so qalb is the heart which turns back and forth ya qalibu the ya at the start makes it an imperfect verb and it is for the third person masculine singular ya qalibu he turns back ala upon this is a preposition aqibaihi ain qaf ba aqab is something which is at the back something which is behind now the heels of the feet they are at the back of the feet so in arabic aqab is used for the heels aqibai this is a dual noun meaning aqibai his uh, the heels the both heels hazir he is a possessive noun for the third person masculine singular ala aqibai he upon or on his both heels wa and in that kanat it was now this is again kana and kana means to be it is a perfect verb and the ta sakin shows that it is for the third person feminine singular kanat as we've already seen kunta was what the third person masculine singular and kanat is for the third person feminine singular kanat it was la kabiratan lam zabar la certainly for sure kabiratan kaf ba ra kabara means something which is great something which is big something which is huge allahu akbar allah is the biggest allah is the greatest kabiratan a great certainly great gross illa except or other than ala upon allazina those who hadallah hadalia means guide this is a perfect verb for the third person masculine singular hadallah he guided allah wa and ma not kana he will be allahu and not will allah li yuzghiya that is he will let go waste yuzghiya this is a imperfect an imperfect verb for the third person masculine singular wa ma kana allahu and not will allah li yuzghiya that he lets go waste imanakum iman is from aman and iman means the faith imanakum your faith in allah indeed or for sure or certainly allah bin nasi bazir bi means with an nasi with the mankind with the people la raufun full of what kindness rafa means love and kindness rahimun the most merciful now let's repeat 143 
wa and kazalika like this similar to this ja'alnakum we made you ummatan wasatan a community a group of the middle way or the middle manner or a group or a community which is the best litakunu so that you will be shuhada witnesses alan nasi upon or over the mankind or upon the people wa yakuna and he will be a rasulu the messenger alaykum upon you shahida a witness wa ma ja'alna and not we made al qiblata the direction of the prayer allati that which kunta you used to be alayha upon it illa except lina alama so that we know we get the knowledge may yattabi rasula who follows copies the messenger mimman from who ya qalibu he turns back ala aqibaihi upon his both heels wa in and sure kanat it was laqabi watan it was what it was kabi watan it was um, something which was great or something which was difficult or heavy illa other than or except ala upon allazina those who had allah who guided allah wama and not kana will allah li yuzwiya will he let go waste imanakum your faith in allah for sure certainly indeed allah bin nasi with the people with the mankind la raufun is full of kindness rahimun the most merciful now let's just go through the whole lesson again so that you can just catch up or fill up any of the words of translation you have left and um, i'm sure all of you are definitely before the next session you are repeating and going through the lesson at least a minimum of 10 times and um, we've already gone through first juz of uh, surah of quran and uh, we've started alhamdulillah the second juz of quran and um, as i've already promised that inshallah inshallah by the fazl and karam of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you stick to the regime which i'm continuously stressing that you every time you get a lesson you repeat it before the next lesson you repeat it a minimum of 10 times like the first few times you're going to just see and repeat the words and uh, like three times you just see and uh, you are like reciting the words of quran and you are seeing what you've written as the translation and you're repeating it three times and then the uh, next two times you are like just putting your hands on the translation and trying to catch up the words yourself and the last three times you are not you just going to take a quran which does not have uh, what you've written a simple quran without recitation uh, without the translation and you just read the arabic text and you recite um, the translation yourself at a minimum of 10 times inshallah if you carry on this till the end of surah al-baqarah inshallah taala with the fazl of allah you will be able to catch up with most with like about 80% of the translation of the rest of the quran May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us support us guide us for all the best Allahumma faqihna fid din Now revising the verses the two verses again Sayaqulu in near future in shortly will he say Sayaqulu shortly will say as-sufaha'u the foolish or the stupid ones min an-nasi from the people ma wallahum what has turned them an qiblati hum from their direction of prayer or from their qibla allati 
which kanu they used to be alaiha upon it kulillahi you say for allah al mashriku is the east wal maghribu and the west yahdi he guides man yasha'u whom he wants he wills he desires ila towards sirat al mustaqim the straight path verse 143 wa and kazalika similar to or like this ja'alna kum we have made you ummatan wasatan a group a community of the middle way or of the middle manner or a community which is the best litakunu so that you will be shuhada witnesses those who give proof those who give evidences al nasi upon the mankind wa yakuna and he will be ar rasulu the messenger alaykum upon you shahida a witness wa ma ja'alna and not have we made al qiblata the qibla or the direction of prayer allati which qunta you used to be alay ha upon it illa except lina lama so that we get to know or we find out or we get the knowledge mayin yattabi'u who follows copies a rasula the messenger mimman from who ya qalibu he turns back ala upon aqibaihi his both heels wa in kanat and indeed it was laqabiratan it was certainly great or gross illa except ala upon allazina those who had allah has guided allah wa ma kan allah and not is or will allah li yuzwiya that he will let go waste imanakum your faith in allah indeed of a sure allah bin nasi with the mankind with the people la rauf ur rahim is what is surely full of kindness and mercy rahimun is the most merciful sadaqallahul azim